How do I use half links and master links? As you saw in Brett's video, you can use these kind of tools to break and reconnect chain when it's on a table like this. But sometimes, if you're in your robot in a really tight spot, you'll need to use a master link to reconnect chain. And sometimes it's just a little bit too long or too short, and you'll need to use a half link. Here's how you can use both of these. Let's start with a master link. The master link comes in three parts. We've got the main body with the pins on it, the plate that goes over that, and the clip that keeps everything in place. Usually you'll receive your master links fully assembled, so you'll need to open it. To do that, you grab between the back of the first pin and the tip of the clip where the opening is, and squeeze. Now you can lift it off the second pin, the clip comes off, and then the plate comes off as well. To use a master link, you wanna make sure that both ends of your chain look the same as each other, and that it's the inside type of link with the tube. To install a master link, first you want to take the body with the pins and put it through one end of the chain. Then you want to take the other end of the chain and put it on the other pin. Then you want to take the plate and drop it over those two pins, making sure it's fully seated and that you can see the two grooves on these posts here. Next, you want to take the clip and lay it over one of the two pins, like so. Then you want to push it all the way toward the other pin as much as you can with your finger, with your pliers, Grab the back of the clip and the inside of the second pin and squeeze together. There you go. Some people find it useful to use a paint pen and mark their master link so they can easily find it in their chain loop so it's quicker to disassemble when you need to take it off. To use a half link, you'll still want chain with the smaller end with the tube on both sides. Use your three parts, the main body, the removable pin, and the cotter pin. Some half links have a full round hole and a D-shaped hole and matching features on the removable pin. You want to make sure you line those up or your pin's not going to go in. To install a half link, first we'll have to use a master link to hold it in place. So you want to take your half link and slide it onto your master link. And then you want to take your chain and slide it onto the other end of the master link. Then take the plate and the clip and install your master link like you did earlier. Now that you have your half link held onto your chain by your master link, identify which side of your half link has the D-shaped hole, if it has one, and position that up. Next, you want to take the other end of your chain and insert it into the half link like that. Then take your pin and push it in from the round side to the D side. Next, you want to take your cotter pin and fish it through the hole in the top of the removable pin, push it all the way in, and then take the legs and bend one in one direction and the other in the other direction. This is number 35 chain. These same procedures all apply to number 25 chain. And that's how you use master links and half links.